What makes sacred sexuality sacred? Well, we can ask what makes anything sacred. What makes a, a church sacred? What makes a, any sacred site to be sacred? Any prayer to be sacred? And there are several approaches to that. One, um, one approach would say that the tradition, actually because there is a tradition behind it that sanctify that, there are some philosophers that would go this way, philosophers of religion. Um, some would say that it comes from the other side, like, you know, God decides and when God, that's like the simple religious, uh, you know, whatever God said, but, you know, God said it through people. Here is my, my take. Uh, my take on sacredness, sacred sexuality included, is whatever makes me connect to deeper and deeper aspects of my being, of, of not only my being, of existence. So whenever I feel there is a portal th that I come and it takes me or it helps me take myself through a gate, through a portal, and I move from my, the mundane life of transa transactional, how do you say it, uh, you know, give and take um, life of of the personality to to a deeper place that I start to remember my soul and who I am and I have a perspective from that onto my day-to-day -day life that's sacred and it might be also as we call the sacred of sacred the holy of holies when it takes you even beyond your your soul beyond your transpersonal so you involved in a ritual or <coughs> or a ceremony that um, take you to the deep of the deepest to beyond even being a soul to the void to to the place that is the source of everything and you know it. When you touch it, you know it. It's like you, f you feel different, you feel different. It's not like, a, you know, it's like someone poured a bucket of water, you're wet. <laughs> it's either wet or dry. Um, so this is sacred. Many religious rituals don't do it to people. Look at people, they go to pray, they go to synagogue, church, da, 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 they go out the same. It didn't do, they didn't, they, they didn't pour their water on them. And many people do. They go to prayer, same prayer, same synagogue. Uh, and it works for them, they, 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 it shifts them, it moves them. Many times they can also be more specific and it's like, oh, there's something in this that actually moves me. Maybe, maybe it's even just taking a time, taking the time to go somewhere. And then sacred sexuality is the same. So the sexuality, which is just sexuality, it's beautiful, it's with the heart, it's um, with connection, this is just like humane sexuality, I would say. Uh, sacred sexuality is when it's going beyond that, and when we are involved in something that um, gives us a different perspective on our life. I had that a lot and I met a lot of people that know what I'm talking about at least. Many people Usually they have sex and it's a kind of a release of, of the body and the emotions and but sometimes even through that they go into what they would say like a mystical moment. Uh, I think most people on the planet actually once in their life they have this. So that's for me is sacred. It doesn't need to have incense. I love incense, but it doesn't need to have, you know, Indian incense and, and uh, Tibetan bowls and <laughs> set up. It can be anywhere in any way. It's more the place we come from, the intention. And also, I have to say, sometimes your soul is just like 
taking you. <laughs> it's like whatever, you didn't mean to, but your soul is so like um, passionate to take you away. So it's like whatever, just you engage in sexual engagement and it's like whatever the situation is, you're being taken to a different dimension. Your partner might not relate to it even, <laughs> but you're just taken. That, that happens as well. <laughs>